Welcome to our introduction to the Worcester Model Railroaders, home of the Worcester Central Lines. This video will be an overview of the layout as it appeared in late 2014, warts and all. This will allow us to use subsequent videos to show you the progress that we make on the layout. According to our version of history, in the early 1970s, the Penn Central, desperate for cash, agreed to sell the portion of the railroad that had been known as the Boston and Albany in the New York Central era to eccentric billionaire and WCL founder Dudley O. Webster. This included the main line between the namesake cities and its various branch lines. As part of the arrangement, Penn Central retained trackage rights to Boston, an arrangement that continued through successors Conrail and now CSX. The modeled portion of the layout runs from West Springfield, which on the prototype is the site of a large yard, to Boston, the line terminus. Our layout tour begins in Boston and will work its way west to the staging yard at West Springfield. When visitors enter the layout room, they see the Port of Boston. This complex switching area is operated by a local, outside of normal mainline runs. It's based on John Pryke's Union Freight layout. This switching puzzle is a favorite job during operating sessions. This elevated area represents the city of Boston. When complete, it will be a congested urban area, conveying the hustle and bustle of the city, complete with skyscrapers, animation, and an operating trolley line. Next along the line is South Boston Yard. This area is the eastern terminus of the WCL and is the origination point for many trains. As such, it's a very active area during operating sessions. Across the aisle from South Boston Yard is the South Station area. Trains leaving either yard run past local landmark Fenway Park before proceeding under the Massachusetts Turnpike on their westward journey. The next waypoint on the trek is Framingham, Massachusetts, which was once the home of a large General Motors assembly plant. Although the actual plant has been closed for years in the real world, on the Worcester Central Lines, it lives on. Around the bend from Framingham is Westboro, home to the Lyle and Tate corn syrup facility and an auto unloading yard. Next we come to Grafton, where the WCL interchanges with the Grafton and Upton. It is also the home of Wyman Gordon and the Grafton Passenger Station. Trains leaving Grafton soon approach Worcester, the second major city on the layout and the site of another large yard, complete with intermodal facility. There are also plans to include a replica of Worcester's Union Station here. Worcester is one of the locations on the layout where trains can leave the main line to enter the branch line area. When designing the track plan, the club wanted the option for continuous running, so we created a wormhole allowing trains to reverse direction. The wormhole trackage leaves the main line here, rejoining it at West Springfield. Heading ever further west, we reach Palmer, Massachusetts, which at one time was home to seven railroads. Today, it's the interchange point with the New England Central and Mass Central Railroads. It's also home of the Steaming Tender. This popular railfan restaurant was once the Palmer Train Depot. We have our own scratch-built version, as seen here. Leaving Palmer, the next stop is Springfield and then West Springfield. Trains crossing the Connecticut River do so on a scratch-built bridge that came from our previous layout, and in fact has been a scenic highlight on various Worcester Model Railroader layouts over the years, as far back as anyone in the club can remember. West Springfield is the end of the modeled main line. It includes a branch that heads off to Strongwood Flats. Trains can also complete their main line run and head into the West Springfield staging yard,
No, it's not really prototypical, but Strongwood Flats represents an old-style logging operation in the Berkshires. The ability to follow your imagination is one of the beauties of model railroading. West Springfield Staging Yard is minimally scenic and is the end of the line. The yard throat is the other location on our layout where trains can access our branch line area. Well, that completes our tour of the main line. We'll cover more about our history and our branch lines in subsequent videos, as well as keep you up to date with progress on the layout. We hope you enjoyed the tour, and thanks for watching.